my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another day of vlogmas and this is actually going to be a makeup basket for this week this is the week of december the 10th december is flying by already and because i do have some looks planned for this week i did decide to go ahead back to regular programming and do my makeup basket so I don't have anything to discuss from last week because of course we know for the past couple of weeks I have not been doing a makeup basket but I do have one for this week and it will be everything minus lipsticks because I am going to be um, sort of planning the looks and pulling the lipsticks according to whatever eyeshadows I um, plan so we're not going to pull any lipsticks today the only lipstick I have today is the lipstick that I have on and this lipstick is retired. Um, it is a Bare Minerals lipstick and it is in the shade Lead the Way which is really pretty. It actually goes with my sweatshirt and speaking of my sweatshirt, here we go again with another shameless plug and not for Coca-Cola. My sweatshirt is actually, we will step on back again. It is a logo sweatshirt from my merch shop here on YouTube. So this is my logo that you see on my videos. And this is, I think the sweatshirt is, I think it might be 50-50 cotton and poly, so it shouldn't stretch, but I like mine big, so I sized up. And it is nice and roomy and comfortable. It has that sort of, it has that soft inside. So it's really good for a nice cozy day like today. And you all can be repping beauty over age. Not just my channel, but in general, beauty pretty much at all ages. Beauty does not stop when you turn 30 years old, so check out my merch shop and I will be um, linking that to the side. I forgot which side of my videos it pops up on, but I'll have a link. I believe this sweatshirt is $36.99. So very affordable and perfect for this time of year. And it comes in this color, which is maroon. And it comes in four other colors that you can choose from. So please check out my, my, my merch shop. It's whatsupbeauties.com. And I explained in another video last week, I believe, why the website is whatsupbeauties.com. So let's jump in to what I am going to be using this week. And you'll see me reaching this way because I have like a table on my side here. Um, and let's just do it because <laughs> I'm running out of things to say so let's just do it um, so the first thing I am going to be using this week which shouldn't be a surprise to you is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and I am medium 21 yeah I am medium 21 in this foundation I have been using this foundation since I got it so every video that you saw where I did makeup like last week Pat McGrath foundation so I do have my Kosas foundation in there so I'm going to take that out and we'll put this in okay. I do have old stuff in my um, basket that I need to put back but I am going to keep in my basket because I have been really really liking this as well it is the Kosas cloud set um, setting powder and it is in the shade softly I have been using this a lot with my makeup lately and let's see the Kosas concealer is going to be in my basket this week and this is in the shade 08W so we'll put that in I do have other things like, I haven't cleaned this basket out in Lord knows when, so I'm just pulling stuff out to put back. But we don't want to talk about it. And, um, for, I have pulled out so many blushes, but 
um probably won't use them all but i want them as options for this week and one of them i have already used and that is the rms beauty redimension hydra powder blush in the shade hanky panky so i have it on my cheeks today and this is going to be my monday morning makeup look but this is what hanky panky looks like i have the gucci blush and this is in the shade warm berry i probably could have done this one today as well but i like the the shine on the rms one i pulled out two lys blushes and this one is in the shade self love and then this one is in the shade kindness which is this i don't know if i'm going to wear that one i think i found out that that one was a little bit too light for me it might be good for a topper or something so we shall put kindness back um and i have three new blushes that i want to try this week and these are all from phytosurgeons thank you lock and i picked those up when they had their sale so this one and these are their skin skin spark blushes this one is in the shade Inferno, and I'll open that up for you so you can see. So this is Inferno. Have I used that one? No, I haven't used any of these yet. This is the, the shade Inferno. This one is in the shade Exothermic, which is really pretty. They just will, let me do it this way. There you go. Because my face is back there, it doesn't want to show anything. So that's exothermic. And then the third one is in the shade Sublimate. So this is the shade Sublimate. So I at least want to try one of these this week. I do have two more in my cart that Locke showed in her video, one of her videos last week that are limited edition that I want to pick up. I think those are all for the blushes. I have a bronzer and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. And I have another Phytosurgeons um, product and I did use this in my Monday morning makeup as well. And this is their Spectral Sunlight Cream Bronzer in shade nine golden horizon and i like it because it's neutral like you can see it it's neutral which i really like so it's not like a shocking orangey colored bronzer so i think that is it pretty much for the face and i can put these things kind of away here um, I never put my blushes in my basket because I'd be digging for them. Um, I also am going to keep in my basket because why not? You spend so much money for this thing. You should use it. The Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette from Hourglass. And I have Owl Packaging but Snake, um, the Snake products in here. So that is it for the face. And then I am going to jump in to my eyeshadow palettes and then we'll be done. So um, the first one I pulled out is the MAC Connecting Color Eyeshadow Palette in the um, Hi-Fi Color. So it looks like this. And I pretty much pulled this out for another look that I want to do. And especially to use this this carbon black because carbon if you didn't know from mac is like the best black ever so i pulled it out just for that one shade but we might be using it a little bit more for that same look yeah i see this for that look i pulled out the glaminatrix nearly natural palette i don't know what made this i think because they popped up in my email and they are having or had some kind of 30% off sale or something. I was like, let me pull out the one Glaminatrix palette that I have. And this is what the Nearly Natural looks like. 
I mean, it's a pretty palette and I should use it. I just don't think that I was as like thrilled with Glaminatrix as everybody else was, but it's still a nice palette. And it took like months for it to come, which pissed me off. Anyway, the next palette is from Give Me Glow and it is their Christmas morning palette. And I think I use this once a year. So I'm going to use it this year. I, I may not use it this week. I may hold it off for like a Christmas look maybe sometime next week. But we'll see how that works out. But this is the Christmas morning palette. Really pretty. I have the Pat McGrath Labs Bijou Brilliance Bordeaux Bliss little quint palette and I got this during her sale also and I did use two of the shades in my Monday morning makeup and you can see which two those were but this of course Pat McGrath quality absolutely love the application I am going to be and this may be a palette that stays in my um, basket as well and this is from Danessa Myrix. This is a Groundwork Defining Neutrals palette. And I'm sad that I didn't get it in the, um, uh, what is that box? Whatever, you all know that box where this palette came with it and a lot of nice other things. I got it during the Sephora sale. So this is what this looks like. And I am going to keep this in my basket because there are several uses for the shades. So if I need like a bronzer shade or if I may want to contour or if I need a neutral shade for an eyeshadow, anything. I'm just going to have that one in my basket all the time. And then the last eyeshadow palette I have is from Beauty Bay. And it is their Midnight Palette. And I did use this for my Monday morning makeup. And I'm also going to be using it for another look. And you might also, you might be able to guess what that look is going to be. Um, but yeah. I used it. The, I used, of course, the purples for my Monday morning makeup. I'm going to use the blues for another video that I'm going to be doing this week. So that is it, you all. Now you all can see why I have had to like set up a makeup basket. Otherwise, I would be ripping and running around here in all of this makeup that I have trying to figure out what it is that I wanted to use. I just kind of sat down and thought about the looks that I wanted to do this week and the palettes that I could pull out that would help me achieve those looks. So we are going to put these away. I don't think, but it might. Let's see if this big palette will fit in here. Let's put it back this way. And it does. That's fantastic. So that is it, you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day, and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.